Good morning, friends. Ten years ago, I sat in a similar room in San Diego as a district governor elect. I was full of dreams, dreams to make the world a better place for all. And I know this because my Rotary journey began when I was a street child. A Rotary member started me on a path to a better life. It's been a long journey for me. And as I address you now, my mind goes to the year 1917, when the Rotary Foundation started with a humble contribution of $26.5. This seed has grown into one of the most respected organizations with a fund of over $4 billion that does good in the world. But what do these gifts do? Over the years, our foundation has focused on key areas where we make an impact and change lives of millions of people across the world. Our priority number one has been polio. We have so far invested over $1.5 billion to fight polio and help reduce global cases by 99.9%. <laughs> polio is now only endemic in Afghanistan and Pakistan. If all holds, history will unfold in our own eyes when the world will be declared polio-free and we Rotary members will be heroes of humanity. <laughs> but as we get closer to eradicating polio, other diseases, both communicable and non-communicable, are leading causes of death. Our foundation is deploying millions of dollars to mitigate the impact. A recent program of scale funded $2 million in Zambia and is saving thousands of lives against malaria, and there are many such examples. Data from the World Health Organization and UNICEF shows that 2 billion people lack access to safe drinking water. 3.6 billion people do not have access to safely managed sanitation, and 2.3 billion people lack basic hygiene services, including soap and water at home. Through the Rotary Foundation wash programs, districts and clubs mobilize resources, form partnerships, invest in infrastructure and training that yield long-term change. The Rotary Foundation provides grants for projects and activities which have improved access to safe water for communities. Newborns and mothers are still dying in appalling numbers, mostly from preventable complications related to childbirth in sub-Saharan Africa. If current trends continue, 48 million children below the age of five are projected to die between 2020 and 2030. Rotary provides education, immunization, birth kits, mobile health clinics, and ambulances to mitigate the impact of this disaster. More than half of this, the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals for 2030 are linked to environmental sustainability. 2017, 2018, Rotary International President Anne Risley led Rotary members to a major green campaign leading to millions of trees being planted by Rotarians and Rotaractors to protect Mother Earth. And we are still planting. 
According to the International Labour Organization, unemployment and underemployment caused by COVID-19 pandemic affected as many as 1.6 billion workers in the informal economy. The Rotary Foundation enables Rotary to invest in income-generating projects to empower people in communities. Today, nearly 90 million people are displaced as a result of conflict, violence, persecution, human rights violations. Countries like Russia, Ukraine, Afghanistan, Ethiopia, and Sudan are at war. Through the Rotary Peace Center program, Peace Fellows are sponsored for studies in peace and conflict resolution at the seven Rotary Peace Centers. In 20 years, more than 1,600 Peace Fellows have graduated from our Rotary Peace Centers and are working on peace initiatives in over 140 countries. Today, there are leaders in government, non-government organizations, in education and research, and multilateral organizations, including the United Nations and the World Bank. Access to education has always been a global challenge. It was made worse by COVID-19 pandemic, which forced about 90% of all students out of school and put marginalized students at a further disadvantage. More than 775 million people over the age of 15 are illiterate. They cannot read and write. The Rotary Foundation supports education through scholarships, donations, and educational projects around the world. Friends, if any of you doubts on how conflict can destroy a family and how education can empower a family, I stand here as an example. I was born in 1962 to peasant parents with three girls and me as the last born. My father and my mother were both illiterate village peasants. They too could not read and write their names. I lost my father at age four during the 1966 political conflict that hit my country, Uganda. My mother pulled my siblings, my three sisters, out of our grass searched and tree shed school to educate me. My elder sister got pregnant at age 15 because of lack of education and bled to death while giving birth. The other two died of HIV AIDS that hit my country, Uganda. When I was eight years old, I did odd jobs such as selling roasted corn and cassava on the streets to supplement my mother's income. She also unfortunately died of cancer. I was picked by good Samaritans, including a Rotary member, who helped me to study and eventually graduated from Makerere University, one of the best in Africa and home to our Rotary Peace Center. I later started a business that manufactures HIV AIDS and malaria medicines to more than 20 African countries. I now employ over 500 people directly and so many indirectly. About two million people in Africa are surviving because 
of our HIV medicines that we manufacture. And we have significantly helped to reduce death due to malaria. I am also a major contributor to the Rotary Foundation, about to reach my second AKS and still growing. I helped build a Rotary blood bank that provides blood to thousands of Ugandans who would otherwise simply die. And I am a team leader to the Rotary Foundation Peace Major Gifts Initiative. Friends, this is what you receive when you give to the Rotary Foundation. This is what you receive when you utilize foundation gifts properly. My history and Rotary inspire me to give and do more because I know what it means to live in extreme poverty and I also know what it means to live in privilege. The difference is huge. It is our responsibility to bridge this gap. The Rotary Foundation has proved it is the best vehicle to channel our giving and make a change. <laughs> Friends, District Governor Lex, as you end your International Assembly, Go out and inspire Rotary members in your districts. Go out and help to make the world a better place. Go out and continue imagining Rotary. And as you do this, let's create hope in the world. Friends, when we do this, postality will favor all of us, our children, and the children of our children will be very proud of us. They will say that, yes, that was their finest hour. They will sing, they will dance, and yes, a better world will be there for all to see because of our actions. God bless you all. God bless Rotary.